Hello dear students, welcome to the another episode of Super Saturday. As we have promised that every Saturday either we will be telling the biography of a scientist or about automobiles. So in this special Super Saturday guys, I will be telling you about the working principle, how aircraft flies, whether it is aeroplane or whether it is helicopter, what is the basic difference between them, that complete thing I will be telling and first of all guys, let me tell you a disclaimer. From last three days, from the internet, from the books, I am doing the research on this and let me tell you guys, for any teacher explaining the working principle of helicopter and aeroplane is not an easy challenge. I am admitting it myself guys. To explain you the working principle of these two is not as simple as teaching any other civil, mechanical or any other engineering concept. I hope that I will be able to deliver my best guys. Okay. And there are so many wrong principles that Bernoulli principle above velocity is more, pressure will be less, below the wing velocity will be less and pressure will be more. So there will be uplift due to the Bernoulli. All those are totally wrong concepts guys. Okay. What is the real one that I will be telling you here in this session guys. Apart from the speed, the altitude the fuel principle, the fuel average, landing, takeoff. I will be more restricting myself to the principle in this video. Okay, of course, the speed of helicopter is much less. It is only 300 km per hour in comparison to 1000 km per hour of aeroplane. Altitude of helicopter is around 1000 feet, but airplane can fly up to 40,000 feet, guys. Here, the fuel is 30 liters per hour. Here, it is 2.7 liters per 100 km, but for per seat. Okay, for per seat. Okay, landing here is vertical in helicopters. Here it is horizontal. The wings are moving here. Wings are fixed here. And the fuel in both is jet fuel or aviation kerosene. Now, first of all, let us focus on aeroplane. Guys, it is very obvious if you draw the free boy diagram. Then, for making aircraft or aeroplane fly, there are two things required. First of all, the upward force to maintain in the air, to maintain in the atmosphere. Of course, the weight will be downward, but there is no rocket science in weight. Everything as a mass will be having a weight. And second is the force that will be making it forward. Now, what makes it different from the vehicles in the road? That there are tires. Okay, so tires are going down or rotating, uh, revolving down. So the vehicle is moving forward. Tires are rotated. So vehicle will be turned, but here there are no tires, how it will be rotated. Okay, everything I will be telling you in this. Now, summation FY, a thrust should be coming, a lift should be coming from where this lift is coming, that I will be telling you and where this thrust is coming for making the aircraft moving forward. So guys, thrust is coming from these engines you have seen. Okay, these are the engines uh, generally beneath the wings. And they will be rotating like they will be sucking the air and that air they will be pushing it backward from Newton's third law. Okay, from Newton's third law, every action will be having a reaction. So when these wings are sucking the air and these wings are, these wings will be pushing the air here backward. So thirst will be downward and when vehicle is moving forward due to the air friction, there will be drag as well. Okay, now it is not as simple as telling you this that it will be sucking the air. Of course, there is a, a combustion there also. Okay, from the fuel that air is burnt and with more power the thirst is provided towards the back. I am again re repeating guys from here the air is sucked. Few part of that air goes into the combustion where from the fuel, from the engine, from the fuel oil it is burned and with more power the air is sucked or it is pushed backward. So Newton's reaction, it will be moving forward. Now the main thing, how it is going forward that we know. How it is going forward that we know, it is through the suction of air and pushing the air backward, it is going downward. It is same like you have seen uh, some of the videos in social media where the people are uh, running or moving around the sea or water. They are pushing the water downward. So reaction will be them in upward. Okay. Now, how the lift occurs, the main principle here. 
Guys, what happens here? First of all, let me tell you the concept that is absolutely wrong. That what it, there is a theory between Bernoulli and Newton. Huge argument between them, between the word as well. And it has tell the equal time argument from where he explained that how it is lifting. First, we have understood how it is moving forward. We have understood now how it is moving upward. So the equal, I'm not saying Bernoulli principle is wrong. But equal time argument is wrong. What they said here that the aeroplane wings are like this. So there is an airfoil shape. It is called as airfoil shape. Okay. Now, when the wake, uh, aircraft is moving forward, I am saying the velocity of the aircraft is like this V. Now air is coming. Okay. Air will be moving like this. Now this air will be having a long, larger distance because here the curvature is uh, the curve is more and this part is less distance. So here the travel distance will be less. Now the air which is separated air is like this the air is separated from here. This one molecule is going from upward. This two mo molecule is going from downward. One molecule will be having a larger distance to travel two molecule will be having a lesser distance to travel. Now from this equal time argument, if they are separated together, they will be coming here one and two together here. They will be again coming here together. This is the equal time concept. Okay. And when they have to reach there at equal time from one to one dash from two to two dash, they have to reach at equal time. Then here the distance is more. So speed will be more. So here at A point, this I'm writing for A point, speed will be more and at B point, speed will be less for making this equal. So pressure here will be less. Okay, pressure here will be less and pressure here will be more because velocity is less here. So here guys, a larger pressure is there at B point. Here it is lesser pressure. So it is a lift from high pressure to low pressure. That is a totally wrong concept that many of the books are telling you. Wrong concept. Why? Who says in this universe that if two molecules are at the same point, they have to reach here at the same point. Who says this? If they are separated one, once, they can uh, be reaching at different locations at different time. There is no equal. Who says this? The, who, sold, who told you there is a law that if two molecules are separated, they have to be reached here at equal time. Second wrong. The first wrong I told you. Second wrong guys here. The second wrong is that Bernoulli principle is applied on same streamline here in A and here in C you can apply not on different streamlines. In A and C you can apply not at A and B. Okay. So two things are wrong. Equal time and this. Now sir if this is wrong that every word is telling you every word is telling this. This is wrong. What is the correct? The correct is, let me tell you that and if, if the correct I am telling you in two minutes, but if this is correct, then in that case, make wings like this because here it will be more time. Here it will be more time. Okay. So more time. So oh, sorry, more distance it has to travel and more distance it has to travel. So faster speed, faster speed. So pressure will be less. Here pressure will be more. So high pressure to low pressure, there is a lift. Then make wings like this. Tell all the people who are saying the equal time concept that here also it has traveled a larger distance. So velocity will be less, pressure will be high. So pressure will be high here and pressure will be low here. So there will be a lift. Okay. So that is the wrong concept. What is the right concept? Let me tell you. Suppose this is a wing. So here the pressure is atmospheric. Uh, here also the pressure is atmospheric. Much below the wing, much above the wing, it is almost atmospheric. Whenever the curvature is like this, so here outside this is outside and this inside so always what happens that pressure outside is greater than pressure inside in these kind of concave nature concave inward now here is pressure outside here is pressure inside and these curvatures of streamlines are like this are like this are like this are like this that means here the pressure is more here it is less so here the pressure is atmospheric much above Two meters above the airfoil wing shape here it is inside pressure inside then again pressure inside then again pressure inside it will be lower so here the pressure is high and lower 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 as we are going inside the pressure is lower similarly here 
the shape is like this shape is like this if you see very closely these streamlines are like this and in this side convex side pressure is more that is atmospheric pressure it is uh, let me show you the correct picture here pressure atmospheric pressure here is more here it is less 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 okay so pressure here is decreasing and here the shape let me make you the correct shape okay here the shape will be something everyone please something like this okay let me make it more curvature let me make it more above i make it green here also let me make it with green okay here the curvature will be little like this the stream lines are little like this little like this so here is pressure atmospheric in the convex side pressure is more so more 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 here it is pressure atmospheric with respect to here it is pressure more where it is atmospheric and atmospheric where there is no effect of streamline near to wings there is a streamline but very away from them there is no streamline so here it is atmospheric pressure inside it is less 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 more red region is more pressure less 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 here it is atmospheric pressure that is the outside convex outside for this shape that is outside so outside pressure is more so more 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 with respect to pressure atmospheric here it is more pressure more red means more pressure yellow means less pressure so that is the reason due to that shape here the pressure is more here the pressure is left pressure is less so moves the lift is from high pressure to low pressure that is the exact reason guys not bernoulli and bernoulli have given you two wrong things uh, from two points i am telling you wrong first this shape from that concept this shape also should be a lift but there is no lift here second bernoulli principle is only applied in a streamline not in different streamlines okay that is used in aeroplane also and that is used in helicopter as well okay now this is i told you two things two things are required one is lift i told you from that concept okay pressure outside pressure inside okay and that is thrust is provided by the wings here is the engine okay here is the engine from where air is sucking out that is pushing it backward so neutral reaction will be forward now how it will be moving right or left how it is flying lift we got it how it is thrust we got it how it is moving right or left guys due to these flaps okay there is a rudder rudder also you can shift right or left but shifting right and left rudder it will be going vice versa here uh, plane will be going either right or left but in that case but in that case there will be jerk to the passengers okay so this is a rudder this is a elevator here are the wings guys and you have seen that these are moving these flaps are moving like when you are landing it is like this when the shape is like this the lift force are reduced and lift force is reduced so it is going downward so in the landing these kind of things are done okay but because these kind of shapes will reduce the lift lift is reduced that means upward force is reduced it is going downward now for moving right or left these flaps are moved in or also called a spoiler are moved in opposite direction one upward when downward okay one it is moving upward flap and it is downward flap so there is an unbalanced force and due to that unbalanced force in right and left hand side it is moved either to the right or left okay now the guys helicopter is no different same here pressure at these blades are having the same concept that the streamlines are like this that one side the pressure is more okay here the pressure is more here the pressure is less, less and there is a lift why pressure is more or less due to that airfoil shape the only thing is that here is no that kind of thing engines na? so that is sucking the air pushing it backward so reaction will be forward there is no such thing so how the helicopter will be moving forward upward reaction we lift we got from this airfoil shape but how it is moving forward here guys the concept here is it will be tilted okay helicopter is only providing the upward force like this when it is tilted that upward force will go in this direction and when it go in this direction it has two components x component and y component and due to that x component it will be moving i'm again saying suppose this is a, a helicopter it is only providing the lift force there are no engines okay there are no engines to provide thrust like this like this 
ओके सो हाउ इट इज मूविंग द हॉरिजोटल विल बी कमिंग फ्रॉम वेयर इट विल बी टिल्टिंग इट सेल्फ लाइक दिस सो वेन इट इज टिल्टिंग लाइक दिस सो द लिफ्ट विल बी लाइक दिस एंड दिस हैज अरिजोटल कंपोनेंट ऑल्सो एंड वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट विल बी बैलेंस्ड बाई एम जी एंड हॉर्जोटल कंपोनेंट विल मेक इट टू थर्स्ट विल मेक इट टू फ्लाई सो हाउ इट इज मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वी गॉट इट ना हाउ इट इज चेंजिंग द डायरेक्शन दैट इज अ लार्ज गाइज हेलीकॉप्टर ड्राइवर has more challenges than a commercial aircraft the reason being the design is more complex and one bigger reason is that here whatever the he applies the button controls here having the instantaneous results or a change in the shape is not done or change in the engine is not done it takes time so he has to be very sensible patient and experienced driving a helicopter is much more complex than driving a commercial aircraft i am not talking about the fighter planes so here the forward reaction you got it now how it will be changing its shape guys these blades are tilted okay these blades are tilted guys and from here these blades are tilted like this that there is a force or the lift force is in opposite direction or with a different magnitude due to which the torque will be generated suppose the here the force is like this here the force is like this torque will generated and then due to the gyroscopic effect might be due to a forward torque it will be going rightwards or right or left okay due to the torque forward guys it moves rightward that is the gyroscope effect that will be telling in different videos so again the same thing how lift from the same air foil concept that i told you how moving right and left by changing the direction of these blades okay i hope you enjoyed this video please on the comment section do let me know that what here this there is a fan also na what is the motive of that fan in the helicopter i will be waiting for your comments guys please like the video if you enjoy this concept and share it with your friends thank you take care